I'm easily fascinated. I'm feeling so creative. It's your boy Stevie, I'm a planet Earth native. I'm enjoying all the moments cause it's such a thrill living. And I'm not sure if you notice, listen up, we're still spinning. Yo, let's go, what's good? Good morning. Day two, it's Tuesday, topsy-turvy Tuesday, teach me something Tuesday, yo, it's the second day in a row of the daily still spinning, still spinning daily is what I'm going to try to call it as, because the whole podcast is still spinning, but this is the still spinning daily, maybe I'll separate it into seasons and to like make it all organized, anyway, point is, I'm making progress, should I have a more, uh, what's it called, planned out, structured thing, maybe, does it hurt because it's all over the place? Maybe. Is it my strength to just kind of add, keep adding things and testing them out? That's how I work, I think. I mean, that's how it's always been. I'm loving it. It's growing. Is it growing as fast as it could be? I don't know, but it's growing and I'm loving it. Um, so yeah, I'm doing this the second day in a row with the f- podcast with the video in the morning. It's a lot more work. I'm trying to drop it in 4K. I don't know if last yesterday's was supposed to be 4K, but I don't know if like the upload lets it go 4K, but it's tough to get. Anyway, what's good? What are we doing? We're still spinning. I got a perfect topic for today. If you watch my Instagram, I started watching Black Holes yesterday on Netflix. Woo! I'm going to leave you with that. That's literally all what today's about is it was Neil deGrasse Tyson and a few other astrophysicists. I really should know who they are, but Whenever I scroll Netflix and I see a new science show and Neil's in it, it's over. And also it was black holes and it's been like a minute since they've dropped a new big space documentary type thing. So I'm like black holes and it was just insane. They start playing this show. Black holes are invisible. They rip stars apart. And then, I don't know, they, they heard one collapse with, collide with another one and it heard like a little chime like ding. And they're like, that was a black hole colliding with another black hole uh, that's proof that that happened billions of years ago and so i'm like huh and um yeah just knowing that that's happening and we're trying to figure out what those are and when they collided that chime that caused gravity like a wave of gravity and everything else is gravity oh my god it was mind-blowing i was kind of drifting in and out because it was the end of the night and i was kind of really uh really hard to focus after at that point but I, i'm gonna keep watching it but that is just exactly what this podcast is about that's happening right now there's black holes we're kind of getting sucked towards one right now and then the part of gravity is like they dropped an apple and they said okay if i drop the apple i catch it my hand stops but if i take away the hand take away the floor take away everything it just keeps falling einstein came up with this i think it's his theory of relativity where everything's just falling and why is it falling it's like the earth i thought it was like earth's core or something had gravity but it's just the objects in space the black void of space is not just empty. It's like a, think of it as like a fabric and all the objects are kind of pushing on the fabric. There's an image that they show on the show that you've probably seen if you just type in the fabric of space. It looks like a blanket and all the stars and planets are kind of pushing indents on the blanket. So that curvature is what the, they're like making curves in the fabric of space. So gravity is just the, the curvature of that space. I don't get it either. Okay. Woo. It's, it's, it hurts my brain, but I love that because then I walk outside. I'm like, Oh, we're just a black hole getting yanked. And then I remember, Oh, okay. I shouldn't be so embarrassed about another human looking at my face or whatever the anxiety is because it doesn't matter. And we have no clue what's happening. So yeah, black hole Tuesday, get up, get going. I did isometrics first thing in the morning, like literally the second I woke up. Cause it hurts like it's stiff when I sleep, it hurts to sit on this chair actually. So I'm doing this for you. Um, that thing I'm doing isometrics. And the reason why I wanted to say this is because my hamstrings hurt from dunk camp jumped way too much. And the reason why I think it's isometrics help instead of just rest is because it's so tight. I sit on it a lot. and It's kind of keeping it stiff. So I need that blood flow in there and isometrics. You just kind of lift your leg up. If you watch my, if you need to know more about isometrics, just YouTube hamstring isometrics, you kind of like lay it in a reverse plank and you lift up one leg and just hold it there. And that like tension of the muscle, you kind of like flexing the muscle hard, but the movement is dangerous because if, since it's so damaged, if I try to move it, it might overload it pretty easily. But since I'm not moving, just holding that position stimulates a lot of blood flow. And I need that blood flow and also like to get it to repair, like the same way you build a muscle, it breaks it down and then it repairs bigger. I need to do the same thing for the tendon to recruit the recovery mechanisms. I believe it's like collagen or whatever the hell. Anyway, a side note, I really want to learn more about anatomy and nutrition. I think it'll add to my coaching business. So, um, 
And if you're listening to this podcast, it's on YouTube as a video. And if you're on the video as a YouTube, this is all on audio, all podcast platforms. So uh, help your boy out and subscribe to all those things. And what am I doing right now? I'm giving you an update of everything I'm thinking about, how I go nonstop, because that's my strength is that energy I'm wearing the shirt today. The energy, bro, is that start the day instant. I feel like I'm raising my baseline of my capacity. I feel great. I slept great. Had a million dreams, definitely about space. What else happened to my dreams? I can't, I can't remember because... I stopped keeping my phone by my bedside because I'm friggin' after it. Even when I sleep, I want to get the maximum sleep. I sleep, I lay, I lay there like a friggin', like I'm in a coffin. And it's actually been working really well. I've been sleeping great and falling asleep fast. But I just don't have anywhere to write my my dreams down because my handwriting's terrible. I try to do it in my journal in the middle of the night, and it looks like I'm blind because I am because it's dark. But also, be, I don't even know how to use my hand in the dark when I'm half asleep. So it's literally illegible. I tried. I literally cannot read a single word. Sometimes it's I don't even know. We'll try it. Well, maybe we'll read what my dreams look like. I'll try to read it. It'll be funny. Anyway, I feel that sharing my experience, sharing my thought process is the best way I can do the most inspirational, energetic type of podcast, which I love to do. I love doing it. I love sharing that the clients I've been working with. Ooh, it makes me feel ready. So going well, keep making progress. I would say if you're trying to get anything done, make a plan about it, but also go with what you feel you need to do and just start. Don't just blindly start. Just do it. I say this every podcast, but just start and do it. Let's go. Have a good Tuesday. Remember that there's black holes sucking you through the fucking fabric of space and there's nothing matters. Love you. <laughs> do the loop. Hey, yo, I'm easily fascinated. I'm feeling so creative. It's your boy, Stevie. I'm a planet Earth native. I'm enjoying all the moments because it's such a thrill living and I'm not sure if you notice. Listen up, we're still spinning. Uh.